Okay, here's here's the story. My hamster died about three months ago, yeah? And I had a milkshake, and it was a bit warm when I got around to drinking it, so I left like a quarter, <laughs> I left a quarter of it at the bottom, and my hamster died, so I had to chop the top of the card cardboard container and put the hamster in there. I didn't um really care about him getting dirty, because my mum told me I was getting another hamster in a minute. So, I could be buried here, and then like two weeks later I thought, he's dirty, so, so I dug him up, uh, found out he had a chocolate mojica in our milkshake, so I went, <laughs> I went to the kitchen sink, and I washed him, and I put him in a baby milk tin and put him back out there. Is that weird? Or... Yeah. <laughs> but think about it, he felt bad because the dead hamster was a bit dirty. I think, I think I could be the next Mother Teresa. Your conscience must be so overwhelmed with love for that hamster that you just want to make sure it's a little bit clean, no, no chocolate on him. <laughs> well, he was a dirty <laughs> hamster normally anyway, because I never normally cleaned him. <laughs> but but he know. still went out to get the hamster <laughs> to wrong clean it. I'm going to uh, say. I'll exit and save now. If your hamster you was example? dirty, would you go and clean it? No, I've already really <laughs> buried him. I don't have a fucking hamster. <laughs> So well, what, you buried him, then dug him up, <laughs> then cleaned him, then buried him again? Yeah. Yes. Dug him up with my little spade and bucket.